to How To Tuesday at Square Peg. Today's topic is called Don't Be Whack, Track Back. And this comes from Tiffany at Franklin College. She sent me an email and said she was writing a blog post about Facebook and wanted to track back the two posts um, that were recently on Square Peg. And um, she was just going to do links but didn't know if there was a better way and had heard about track backing and wasn't really sure what it was. So I figured that'd be a good one to talk about. Uh, basically, tr track backing is kind of an acknowledgement. It's um, just a way to say, you know, hey, I'm talking about this, and this is where I saw it. Um, you can also sometimes hear it referred as a hat tip, and um, I'll give you a link later um, about a discussion going on on this very topic, actually, that just uh, started over the weekend. Um, there are some automated ways to do it, and then sometimes you have to manually do it. Um, today we're going to go through... WordPress, Blogger, and Community Server. Um, I'm not going to do TypePad because you have to sign up for a trial, which I don't want to do, and Movable Type you have to install, which also I do not want to do. So uh, we're just going to start in WordPress because that's pretty much the most common out there. Um, so you can see here if you're writing a blog and you've already given it a title and you have your content here. Um, say you were just talking about uh, screen captures and you saw this and um, wanted to talk more about it and thought this was really cool. So you just copy the link and in uh, WordPress if you scroll down to the bottom we have trackbacks here and it says send trackbacks to and you just copy it in and then you separate multiple URLs with the space. So if you had another blog um, just hit space and that's pretty it. Um, and then when you publish it, uh, WordPress will then leave a comment on this blog um, right down here for you, and it'll, it'll just be a little snippet of what your blog post is about with a link to it. Uh, you want to make sure, though, that you go into Options and click on Discussion here, and make sure Attempt to Notify Any Blogs Linked to From the Article is Checked. It says it slows down the posting, but um, you're hardly going to notice it at all. And that you also want to allow link notifications from other blogs. So that's just saying um, people can track back to you. And that's pretty much it in WordPress. Uh, now, Blogger actually doesn't allow trackbacks, but in, in settings, if you go to comments, you can allow what they call backlinks. And that's basically if someone is sending a track back to you. So if you show that, then if somebody track backs to you, then it'll register as a comment on your blog if you're with Blogger. So that's pretty much it. And if you want to click Learn More, then you can do that. Um, and then lastly, in Community Server, click on Advanced Options and go to Advanced Options and then Enable Trackbacks here. Click Yes. Uh, if you put your mouse over the question marks, it'll just say Trackbacks will only be sent the first time a post is saved as published, and then the default setting is determined by your global blog settings. So if you go into your global settings, and um, I believe it's under advanced post settings here, yeah, trackbacks there. So if you set that to no, it's always going to be no, but if you wanted to do it on a certain blog, then you could go into those advanced options we were just in and click yes for that one. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to put a link below this, or if you're on YouTube, to the right, and over at Andrew's blog at higher There's a good discussion about trackbacks going on, and I uh, hope you'll join it. And as always, if you have questions about anything, feel free to send it in, and I'll try and cover it on a How To Tuesday. So hopefully that gives you a little quick background about trackbacks. There's obviously a ton more resources out there, but... As you can see, it's really not that big of a topic, or um, once you get into it, it's pretty easy to understand. So have a good day. We'll talk to you later. Bye.